Hello everyone. So today I am going to make, well, this is an experiment. Um, last weekend I made some cookies and I felt like I could adapt the recipe to different flavors. So the cookies I made last weekend were um, a spice cake mix with pumpkin um, pie filling mixed into it. And I thought I could definitely use cherry pie filling and um, chocolate cake mix and make like a Black Forest Gatto um, cookie. So that's what we're gonna try today. We'll see if it works. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work. We're gonna try it though. Um, I don't have any Kirsch, which I'm really sad about because I would love to add some Kirsch, which is if you are familiar with Black Forest Gatto, which if you watch Great British Bake Off, you should be familiar with. Um, the Black Forest Gatto usually has some Kirsch, which is cherry liqueur, I think. Um, so next time, let's see if the cookies work first. And then <laughs> when we make them again, we will try to add the liqueur to it. So today's uh, recipe is super simple. Um, I'm gonna do a double batch. So I'm gonna have two chocolate cake mixes, um, some oil, six tablespoons of oil. We're gonna do a cup and a half of the cherry pie filling. And um, okay, with the eggs, we're gonna do two whole eggs and then two egg whites. Cause we wanna give, uh, I'm hoping this worked. It worked with the pumpkin ones. I wanna give the cookies a little lift. Um, and so they're soft. So it worked with the pumpkin. We'll see if it works with the cherry. So let's so get So the first thing I wanna do is actually, I'm gonna put the cherry pie filling into my little Ninja food processor and just pulse it and chop the cherries a little bit. I want small pieces of cherries, not whole cherries. So, you know, it's a preference thing. I feel like you could probably do the whole cherries and that would be fine, but I want little pieces. That took like no time at all and it's already chopped up nice and small. Before cool. we actually start um, assembling everything, I should probably preheat the oven to 350. So we're gonna bake these at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. Um, we're really gonna keep an eye on them. The pumpkin cookies only took 10 minutes and the recipe called for 12 minutes. So I have a feeling these might go a little faster, but I'm not positive about that. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Using the cake mix is probably a little cheater's way, but <laughs> uh, I'm not a good baker. So I'm gonna cheat when I can. Um, Cause really all cake mix is, is like the flour and in this case, the cocoa mixed with like baking powder, baking soda and like cream of tartar if it needs it. Like they've done all that part for you. And probably, I mean, obviously there's sugar in there too. So, you know, it's not really cheating. I mean, it sort of is. Anyway, okay, we're gonna add our two cake mixes. This is a double batch. So you could do one cake mix, one whole egg, one egg white three ounces of oil, I mean three tablespoons of oil and three quarter cup of the pie filling. But we are going to do a double batch, so that is two cake mixes. Let's add our cherry pie filling. So we are gonna add a cup and a half of the pie filling. So there's a half a cup. One, two, oh, it's really gonna use like the whole thing basically. That's good, we're not gonna waste a lot of pie filling. Good, okay. That's about a cup and a half. And then we're gonna do our six tablespoons of oil. And finally, we're gonna add our eggs. So two whole eggs. 
I got these beautiful organic eggs straight from my friend Karen, who grows chickens in her backyard. They are absolutely gorgeous. All right, here's the complicated part. I just want the white out of this. Yes. Ha. Oh. And now we're just gonna take our hand mixer and mix it up and it should be a pretty doughy consistency. We'll find out. When I did it with the pumpkin, it was a pretty thick, cakey consistency. So I, I'm expecting that's gonna happen with this one too. Let's find out. Yeah, it's a pretty thick consistency, but I think that is good. I think it's gonna be good. I can't ever remember how to release these things. My oven is preheated, my batter is mixed. Um, I'm gonna put them on the cookie sheets. Um, if you're doing them on a straight cookie sheet, you need to um, put some Pam or some oil on it. I'm gonna use these little Silpat mats that my mom got me a couple of years ago that I hardly ever use but they're great for this kind of thing. You want a non-stick surface. So we're gonna take two spoons and sort of like scoop and sort of try and make a nice round cookie shape on this mat. And how handy, it's got um, spots. <laughs> so we're gonna try and fill all the little spots in our cookie sheets. So let's see if we can make it happen. Oops. So we're just gonna scoop it out like that. These, at least my experience with the last set, did not spread a whole lot. So I think you can scoop a pretty good amount. And as long as we try and keep it sort of upright, it's not gonna spread. We want these cookies to be pretty big actually. Mm, can you see how beautiful they are? Now, I didn't do it this time, but I feel like you could probably add some chocolate chips to this, and that would be really good. All right, this cookie sheet is going straight into the oven, and then we will set up our second set. All right, one thing I can tell you for sure, 10 minutes is not enough. I put them in for two more minutes. Um, this recipe spreads quite a bit more than the pumpkin. So they're flatter and bigger and stuck together. So we'll see if I can get them off the mat. I'm gonna try and get these off of here and get them onto the drying rack. Maybe I should have left them in for two more minutes. <laughs> so, um, that experiment didn't quite work. Maybe they needed to be in the oven for a little longer. But, we're gonna taste one. It's real flat. Did not get the lift that the other ones got. It's very cakey. But you know, I mean, it's still a cookie, so I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Let's find out. <clears throat> oh, that's delicious. Mm. The chocolate overpowers the cherry by quite a bit. So you don't really chase, taste the cherries. I feel like it needed more cherry filling, but then that's gonna throw off the chemistry 
even more, so they'll be even soggier. I mean, it's a solid chocolate cookie. Hmm. I don't know. It's delicious. It's definitely undercooked, so it's gonna be have to be in there for longer than 12 minutes. Maybe 14? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That was a good experiment though. <laughs> oh well, we'll live to bake another day, right? That's what I always say. Have a good day, everybody.